Hi guys and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm trying very hard not to start with my head tilt that I normally do every time I say hi guys and it was very hard let me tell you that and I, I still had to do it anyway by mentioning it. But hi welcome to this week's vlog. I have not done one in a couple of weeks just because every time I've sat down to record I've hated my hair and my makeup and this is just another day where I hate my hair and my makeup like I've not styled my hair I've just slapped things on makeup wise and I don't like it but I needed to get something filmed uh, vlog wise up in the channel so I'll have to I'll just have to do um yeah because there was there was like the Q and A portion I need to do for this vlog I believe um like I actually have notes here that I wrote down for vlog discussion topics for the 3rd of June as I record this it's now the 19th of June so it's safe to assume I <laughs> have been slacking on the vlog front and I apologise for that um so vlog discussion topics let me just look at my notes here that I have all in a Google document. Um, actually, let me look, because I've not updated this in a while. Let me have a look at what's going on, like, the state of the channel-wise right now. Um, I'm just... Off the top of my head, there has not been content up um, the past couple of weeks. Yeah, the past couple of weeks, it's been sort of banning on content, and this is just because I've been recording content for when I am in Canada. I sound so hesitant saying that. Yeah, for when I'm in Canada. And I'm leaving to go to Canada next Friday, the 26th. So I'm sort of recording content for that and I don't think I'll have content every day, but I have about 18 videos recorded so far. I have videos rendering as I record this. Uh, so I should have a variety of Bioshock, the, oh well, my God, Burial at Sea. Why do I forget his name every damn time? Very well, let's see. That actually is wrapping up. I'll have more of the detail. I have a KSP video that I'll be rendering uh, out at some point. Some more Soul Axiom uh, that I've recorded a little bit off live stream. Um, just because I've not been streaming again because of the whole Canada thing right now. And EU4. I So Monday, I had a little bit to drink and then I decided to record because that was smart. On the plus side, I got a lot done. But I'll have a let's drunk of European Universalis. It'll be three parts. It'll be like a mini series. I feel like that'll be the series that every time I'm drunk and on a computer, I'll just come back to record that just because it's going, it's going. Uh, no spoiler or anything, of course. Um, what else? As I mentioned about streams, yeah. There's been no streams, there won't be any streams till I come back from Canada and even then what I need to focus on when I come back from Canada is again first and foremost I always consider myself a content creator for YouTube. I don't see that changing in the foreseeable future. So what I need to do is work out a schedule um, that suits my home life basically, like fits things I do at home, hobbies that I want to do, like I want to start attending dance classes and then the times that they're on are the times that I would normally be streaming because that's the best time for me to stream uh, to get viewers, like to get, to get maximum amount of viewers I possibly can. Because it's a better time zone for, you know, people in my time zone and then people in America and hopefully a good time zone for Europe. It, it just depends how late I tend to be streaming that day. But the dance lessons I want to do are on that day. And then the, the people that I mod for will be on the other days where they typically my dance classes aren't on those days and then I would feel bad streaming on those days as well. Uh, so it, it's finding a, a schedule that I can try and work around. Because things like even trying to find time to record, because it takes me so long to render a video, it takes me like two or three hours to try and render a video, which is part of just, oh my god, I should have got drunk. Uh, <laughs> part of like my processor just, it, it renders video really really slowly. Um, particularly when I'm doing like 1080p, 60fps, it can take between 2 or 3 hours per video. Um, which means I can't use my, my computer during that time, I can't record, I can't stream. So, yeah, finding time to record, finding time to stream, finding time to just fit all my hobbies is going to be hard. Um, but once I have something worked out, then hopefully I will uh, have a video up explaining it. I might have to just drop back down to one stream a week because it's not fair for me to try and stream on uh, days where you know the people I'm mod for are streaming and stuff because I, I would I feel like I should be there to help and yeah I'll, I'll work something out um 
So I will answer the Q&A section here before I talk about anything else. I didn't get many questions, I don't think. Let me look at my comment section. That is what I wanted to load up because I didn't have... Well, no, not that I didn't have. I, I don't know if I wrote everything down in my, my notes. Um, my voice is going a little bit husky. At least I think it's going a little bit husky. Um, oh yeah, okay. John Carpenter asked, have you ever visited Loch Lomond? I've always been meaning to visit but never gotten around to going. I actually haven't visited uh, North? North? <laughs> I visited North but I've not visited Loch Lomond which is kind of a shame actually. That's one of the things I keep meaning to do. Like I, I say it every year, I'm like, I should just go see Scotland more. I should, you know, I stick to Glasgow, I stick to Edinburgh, I've been to Ayr. I've been some places in the Highlands, but I want to see more. I want to see more of what Scotland has to offer, and I'm the kind of person that would probably just get like a pass to go see all the castles if possible. Um, so yeah, I need to I need to visit Loch Lomond and see what this country has to offer me. Um, what else is there? Rachel Sky asks, "Have you ever played any instruments?" Uh, I. I've played instruments, doesn't mean I'm very good at them. I'm not very musically inclined, or I've never really stuck to instruments, and it's the same with most hobbies with me. If I'm not instantly good at it, I never really stick to it. So I play the keyboard. I can't read music, but I can somewhat play the keyboard. Uh, I mean, I, I know a couple of songs on it. Um, drums, I played the drums in school years ago though I think I've only played them like once but I was I was all right at them uh guitar as well I played a guitar a couple of times and I have a guitar I've just never really like I really think I would have gotten into the guitar but I just I don't know why I didn't really stick to it I think I was learning it in music class at the time and then I got moved out of music class and so I was like well no point in me continuing to learn then so that was a shame but I really actually I really did enjoy uh, learning guitar any other instruments I can... Uh, no. <laughs> Not that I can think of. No. Uh, Rachel also asks, have you ever had a girlfriend? If that's not too personal. Um, I don't tend to answer questions like this. However, I'm going to answer this one specifically just because I'm openly bisexual, okay? Or rather, I'm openly bisexual in real life to people who just... I've said it to. Uh, it's never really something that comes up in conversation that much. It's not something like I announced it to everyone, just family. Uh, I am in my videos, you know, I'm fairly open about it. However, I've never said it in my vlogs. And part of it is because, you know, I've never felt the need to bring it up. Although there's been a couple of times I've wanted to tell stories related to it, but I never have. And that's because a lot of people I know in real life watch my videos, or rather, no, I wouldn't say a lot of people I know, but there's quite a few people that, you know, maybe met me once in my life that have been, you know, checking out my channel and stuff because they've seen it through Facebook, or, you know, friends of my brother and stuff that might watch my videos. And I've always just been sort of terrified to say it here, because the vlogs they'll tend to only watch the vlogs and not uh, other videos. So hi everyone. Um, yes, this is me basically coming out to you guys. I'm bisexual. And have you ever had a girlfriend? No. There we go. That wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Because there was a, a time I was going to tell my coming out story and then I sort of chickened out of it because I was like, I'm sort of scared because I'm fine coming out to random strangers on the internet. But people that may be acquaintances of me in real life, it, it felt like, it it just felt like a whole other kettle of fish. Kettle of fish? Is that like, is it kettle of fish? Uh, I don't know. Luna Obsessions asks, do you wear contacts or glasses? I, where are my glasses? Okay. So these, um... These are not my eyes, or rather they are my eyes, but the colour are not my eyes. My natural eye colour is a bluish grey, and if you've seen some of my Soul Axiom live streams with the red wig, I had 
excuse me, <laughs> bright blue contact lenses. That's not my natural eye colour either, but you know, blue sort of suits my colouring up a little bit better. I just prefer brown. But I also wear glasses and these I'm desperate need to be clean and I haven't worn these in years. I'm just, well not years, but I haven't worn these in forever just because I always wear contact lenses. But these are my glasses and I can't, I can't see shit out of them. Actually no, I can kind of see shit out of them. It's not as blurry as I thought. Maybe, oh no, it's blurry now. I should probably clean them. It feels, it feels weird seeing myself with glasses and brown contact lenses. But yes, I wear glasses, just not that often. I tend to prefer contact lenses on me. Just because I can't really find glasses frames I suit. Like, um, I don't know where my other glasses frames are. I think they might be in the, the bedroom. But I have quite, th this is such a weird thing to discuss, but I have a low brow bone or small eyes. So most glasses frames, like I tend to like the sort of bigger ones, but they cover my eyebrows and that just bugs me. Like there are some people that manage to pull it off, but I think I, like my eyebrows are expressive. I express a lot of these things, okay? And when the frames cover it, I feel weird. That, does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like I should just stick with the glasses throughout the rest of this and see how well I can try and read with my bloody eyesight. Uh, any more questions? <laughs> the vintage Miss Carchanel head tilt at the age of the log. I know I can't. I can't help it. Uh, Raizaki Suke. I probably butchering your name. I'm so sorry about that. Um, says my question for your Q and A is simply: How did you connect with Quill? Because uh, he was saying that he thinks it's really cool that I'm going to see Quill and his family, uh, include Briarstone and that in Canada. I first came across, well, I first came across A Kiss for Luck uh, a couple of years ago now. Yeah, must, must, must be around two years ago now. What happened was Essentia had posted a video of Ava's uh, A Kiss for Lux on Reddit. And I think it was her Tomb Raider Let's Play. And at this time, I wasn't really watching a lot of Let's Plays. I was maybe only watching like Nerd Cubed. And that that was it. Like, like I had a job at this time. I was, you know, working. Like a, I, I say a really stressful job at this time. So I would just I would come home and I wouldn't even get much chance to watch videos. I would just be so tired. I would go to sleep. Um, so I would maybe like fit in if I could, like one of one or two of Nerd Cube videos. But I'm, I feel like I'm pronouncing things weird. I really need a drink. Um, yeah, and then I came across. Uh, Essentia posting that on Reddit, so I was like, oh, okay, well, I've not played Tomb Raider yet, I'm sort of interested in it, I may as well see, you know, what, what this is about, so I, I watched some of Ava's Let's Plays, and I was like, you know, she's really nice, and she, she spoke openly about being nervous about doing this, and being new to doing it, and I was like, huh, you know, this actually seems pretty interesting, I might like to give this a go, and it was around this time as well that I was sort of recording my own, but not making it public, I would just have its private links or I would share it uh, as unlisted links with friends. And so I messaged Ava and this was like on the lead up to her birthday because I remember there was a live stream where she actually promoted me, promoted, promoted my channel on her live stream. And yeah, so I messaged Ava and I just, I told her a little bit about myself and I was just like, you know, I'm, I, I'm not the type of person to do stuff like this. Like I am very, very shy, like painfully shy. Um, I mean, even as a kid, right, this, this sort of puts it into perspective of how shy I was. All my report cards uh, from when I was in primary school are just like, she, she needs to put her hand up to talk more. We know she knows the answers, but she's not, because putting my hand up to tell the answer would be drawing attention to myself. Or, um, even like, I hated speaking out with close family, like, I remember sometimes my gran and granddad would talk to me and I would be at, I would be at their house quite, quite a lot, and yet I would hate trying to, I would hate trying to have conversations with them, I felt too shy, but in my own house I was fine. Uh, so yeah, this was like completely out of my comfort zone, I was like, mm, I'm, I'm not sure, and Ava was just like, go for it, go for it, I'll be one of your first viewers. So I was like, okay. So I finally made a video live and then I went by her birthday live stream and she kindly promoted me and she showed off one of my videos and through that I just got talking to Ava and eventually, you know, I was invited into her Minecraft server, which I actually turned down 
uh, quite a few times because I was like, no, I'm not. I'm. T- I your your server deserves like the best people on it, and I. I can't even finish a box in Minecraft. Like you should see the one build that I managed in Ava's Minecraft server because I eventually did accept. Um, and Quillbriar at least was an unfinished house. I say house. It had all the intentions of being a house, but it did not become one. And yeah, it was just I got got speaking to Ava. And then she came over to Scotland um, as well, so met met her when she was in Scotland and we spent a couple of days like in Edinburgh and stuff. She has vlogs up on her channel if you're interested in seeing that. And through that I just got to know Quill, Essentia, Briar, going by their streams and just talking to them really. And they're, they're, they're amazing people. Like I feel so lucky to just even count them as my friends because they are one of genuinely so lovely people like one of the most honest people as well that I know just all of them so kind hearted and just I, I could just yeah they're they're great people so I'm rambling a lot it's because it's because I feel self-conscious about how I look that's why ah oh, pisses me off this is how I keep putting off this vlog but the more I put it off the more self-conscious I'll get about filming it um right I should take these off because I still am struggling to read. Is there any other questions? Is that a badger on the shelf to the left? Well, there was until I tried to film a vlog on Monday when I was drunk and then I kept dropping my badger. <laughs> if I if I had smarts, I would probably edit it in to include it, but I am not a smart person, but yes, this is a badger. Not a real badger. It's falling. No, that way. Yeah. It's a badger. Um, okay. I think that's it for questions. Now, what else have I been doing? Alright, so I've spoken about trying to find a stream schedule. I'll talk about TV. Um, Comic Con, actually. Uh, Glasgow Comic Con, Scotland Comic Con. I feel like I'm suddenly just going to start going come 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 chameleon such a bad singer um Co- Glasgow Comic Con I have actually booked tickets for it will be my first time going to Comic Con so I will be at that but I'll talk more about that in the time although I've been thinking about maybe doing cosplay for it which again would be sort of my first time so I'm not sure who I want to cosplay as my friend is telling me to go as Agent Carter and I feel bad because I've never really like I haven't really watched, well I've watched Captain America. So I I mean I know who Peggy is, but I haven't really watched her, 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 her uh, Agent Carter series, is that what it's called? And my friend Isabel keeps telling me to watch and I just haven't done it and I need, I need to, but yeah I kind of like the idea of that. Although no, there's another part of me that's just like, I'd love to do Marjorie from Game of Thrones, like, dresses her, but also, no, I'm not finishing that joke. Yes, dress as Marjorie, Marjorie from uh, Game of Thrones, but I don't know. Also, my other option is I've been watching Sword Art Online Season 2 and I've been loving it, okay? I was not, like, the best fan, biggest fan of Sword Art Online Season 1 second half. Uh, I really liked the first half, but I'm really enjoying Sword Art Online Season 2. I really like, is it the character of Sinon? Sinon? I hope I'm saying that right too. So I was sort of thinking about that, but then I'm just thinking about practicalities and I feel like if I do do cosplay, it, Asian car seems like the most likely thing I would do. But I don't know if I'll do any of that. So, okay. Spoken about Comic Con. Spoken about dance, haven't I? Because that came in with the stream schedule. Um, oh, I had a joke I was going to say at the time. It's not really relevant now. Uh, and Canada. Yes, yeah, so next week, Canada. I, I'm i so nervous about it. Like, I... It's the thought of the travel and, me, like, stressing me out. I'm someone that needs to be on time for things. And I know that plane delays happen, thing, traffic, things like this, you know, getting to the airport. Stuff happens. 
and I'll fucking hate it. Like, I will genuinely hate it if there's even just the slightest bit of delay. Like, I I can't stand being late for appointments or anything. I'm the person that shows up 15 minutes early to things. Actually, no. Half an hour half an hour early, sometimes earlier, but then I don't want to seem too keen if I show up too early, so I'll like maybe hover about just a little bit of a distance away so they don't, so I mean, depending on the situation, say job interviews and stuff, I, I might show up early and then maybe go sit in a cafe or something for a while and then, you know, just show up, um, but try not to show up like 15 minutes early because um, that can sometimes reflect badly. I don't know. Like, I, I think punctuality is a good thing, okay? I've been told showing up too early can be bad. No, I like punctuality. <laughs> and then it always leads to problems because I'll have friends that might show up to things late and I'll show up to things early. So it's half the time I might be sitting there forever and ever. But yes, it, it's genuinely stressing me out the thought of anything that's out of my control. And I just sort of have to accept it that there might be things out of my control. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I need to pack still. That's a thing I should do. Um, but I'm just going to wrap up this vlog here because it's sort of a mess. I just wanted to give a general rundown of what's going on in the channel at the moment and to expect some content from me and I'll hopefully still film things while I'm over in Canada because I have um, a camera. So... Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all having a good day. And I've done the head top. And oh, you can see the reflection in my glasses. You can see me. I mean, you can see me, but you can see me. And I love you all. Bye.